Hey guys, let's get more news about Miami Heat, but first don't forget to subscribe and leave your like. Jimmy Butler makes bold statement on Miami Heat entering 2024 NBA playoffs. In 2023, Jimmy Butler and the Miami Heat were the number 8 seed in the Eastern Conference and made a magical run to the NBA Finals. The Heat eventually lost to the Denver Nuggets in five games, but it proved they could be a threat no matter what seed they were in to start the NBA playoffs. Now, Miami has to do it again. The Heat ended the 2023-24 NBA regular season in eighth place, which sets them up for the play-in tournament against the Philadelphia 76ers on Wednesday night. Butler's history with Philadelphia makes this matchup even more compelling. Entering the 2024 NBA playoffs, Butler sat down with Slam Online in mid-March and discussed the upcoming weeks and months in basketball. Based on his comments, the Heat forward seems pretty confident in his team's ability to make a run for another NBA Finals berth. It's the time where people really gotta think about going up against the Miami Heat and myself. I know what I'm capable of. I know what my squad is capable of. And don't nobody want to see us in a seven-game series anyways. We know that. Don't nobody want to see us in a seven-game series anyways, is the quote that Miami and Butler live by. Sure, the regular season matters since teams need to find the best lineups ahead of the playoffs, but the Heat know their best basketball will be played starting in April. This doesn't mean the Heat slack off during the regular season, they play their best when it matters the most. With a supporting cast fairly similar to 2023 outside of Gabe Vincent and Max Struss, the Heat are ready for a big matchup against Butler's former team on Wednesday. So, how far can Miami go in this year's NBA playoffs? It will lie on Butler's shoulders, but he needs help from Bam Adebayo and Tyler Harrell. The Heat start their march toward another NBA Finals berth against the 76ers this week, and if they find a way to beat them in Philadelphia, a matchup with the New York Knicks is on tap. If not, Miami's only chance would be to run through Boston as the number 8 seed. Ironically, Butler and the Heat beat the Celtics and Knicks en route to the NBA Finals last year. Both teams are far better than in 2023, but New York is dealing with many injuries, including Julius Randle, who is set to miss the rest of the season. Boston is a juggernaut, and taking down the number one seed in the Eastern Conference will be difficult. However, Miami has already beaten the number one seed as the number eight seed, making the team a very dangerous matchup. The Milwaukee Bucks, Cleveland Cavaliers, Orlando Magic, and Indiana Pacers are also there. Yet, the Bucks are dealing with Giannis Antetokounmpo's latest injury, while the other three teams have little playoff experience compared to Boston and Miami. This doesn't mean the Celtics will blow by everyone in the Eastern Conference, but the states of the other seven teams are very uncertain. It wouldn't be surprising to see Boston against an unexpected team in the Eastern Conference Finals. Of course, the Heat have their problems as well. The team ranked 22nd in field goal percentage and 26th in points per game. Yet Miami shoots well from beyond the arc and doesn't turn the ball over very often, which are two key ingredients for a deep playoff run. Combine the Heat's decent three-point standings and excellent ball control with the fifth-best defensive rating in the NBA, and it's obvious why this year's Heat team is arguably in a better position than last year. Miami has improved defensively and has more consistent three-point shooting than last year. Heat's Jimmy Butler says nobody wants to face us in a seven-game NBA playoff series. Jimmy Butler, the talismanic figure of the Miami Heat, exudes confidence as the NBA playoffs loom, asserting that no team relishes the prospect of confronting the Heat in a seven-game series. In an interview with Alex Squadron of Slam magazine, Butler underscored his belief that the Miami Heat, under his leadership, pose a formidable challenge for any opponent. It is the time where people really gotta think about going up against the Miami Heat and myself, Butler remarked. I know what I am capable of. I know what my squad is capable of. And Don, T nobody want to see us in a seven-game series anyways. We know that. 
The Heat's journey to the playoffs entails surpassing the play-in tournament, given their regular season finish as the number 8 seed in the Eastern Conference. However, Miami has a storied history of defying odds and embarking on deep postseason runs, regardless of their seeding. In the 2023 NBA season, Butler spearheaded the Heat's remarkable surge to the NBA Finals, catapulting the team from an eighth seed to championship contention. Victories over top-seeded teams like the Milwaukee Bucks showcased Butler's indomitable spirit and leadership on the court, as he averaged an impressive 37.6 points per game during the first-round upset. Under the astute guidance of head coach Eric Spolstra, the Heat have become synonymous with postseason success, securing a spot in the conference finals in three of the past four seasons. Despite grappling with injuries to key players throughout the regular season, including Butler himself and former sixth man of the year Tyler Harrow, the Heat demonstrated resilience and depth, culminating in a strong finish to the campaign. Over the final 10 games, Miami boasted the league's highest net rating, underscoring their readiness for playoff contention. Report, Miami Heat have cautious optimism about Terry Rozier as he gets more tests done on neck. The Miami Heat reportedly are cautiously optimistic regarding the status of Terry Rozier heading into their play-in round game against the Philadelphia 76ers on Wednesday. Rozier missed the final four games of the regular season with a neck issue that he at first attempted to play through. He also missed four games in February while dealing with a knee injury. The 30-year-old was acquired by Miami in January in a trade with the Charlotte Hornets. In 31 regular season games with the Heat, he averaged 16.4 points per game, well below his usual full-season scoring averages. He also contributed 4.2 rebounds and 4.6 assists per contest for Miami. Duncan Robinson also sat out the season finale because of a lingering back issue. He missed the last four games after he had returned to play in five contests. Kevin Love played just over three minutes on Sunday as he suffered an arm injury. The Heat undoubtedly will need all hands on deck as they attempt to emerge from the play-in round for a second straight season and pursue a return to the NBA Finals. They finish the regular season as the eighth-place team in the Eastern Conference and play at the seventh-place 76ers on Wednesday. The winner of that game will qualify for the playoffs as the number seven seed in the Eastern Conference and set up a series against the number two seed New York Knicks. The loser on Wednesday will have another opportunity for a play in victory that would then make them the number eight seed, creating a matchup against the number one seed Boston Celtics. Entering an important game not knowing who might be available has been an unfortunate familiar occurrence for Miami this season. The Heat used 21 different players during the regular season, with 18 different players starting at least one game. Bam Adebayo and rookie Jamie Jaquez Jr. were the only Heat players to appear in more than 70 games. Miami has shown the ability to navigate the postseason no matter the obstacles it may face, but the Heat have to be hopeful they are able to begin yet another quest with Rozier available on Wednesday. And you, fan? What do you think of the situation of Terry Rozier? Leave your opinion in the comments.